Hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here with another Canvas Workspace hack. This time I'd like to show you how to create spiral text using the fit to path function. Let's take a look and see how we do that. Begin by opening the software and just a reminder this is the installed version of Canvas Workspace. Then clear down any of the pop-up windows including news or pattern collections. Maximise the workspace and zoom in to the work mat. OK, so we have Canvas Workspace open. The next thing that I need to do is get a spiral path. Now, sadly it's not possible to create one easily in Canvas Workspace. So what I did is I created a spiral path in another program, which you can also do, and then I'm going to import it into Canvas Workspace. If you don't have one or you don't have any other graphics programs, please feel free to download the spiral SVG that I've got on my blog, and I will leave a link below the video in the description. OK, so let's import from your computer. And then I will choose the file named Spiral Frame SVG and open that. Now it will import at a smaller size, so the first thing that I'm going to do is change the size and I will put it to 11 inches. Then I'm going to move it into the center because if any of the text goes outside of this, then it will still fit on the sheet. The next thing that I need to do is add some text. So I will grab the text tool. And in this case, I've already copied the phrase that I wanted to create. You could do this too, copy a poem from somewhere, a Word document or the internet. Obviously just check out that you've got permission to use it. And it will then place that text in the text place holder. Click anywhere off the text so that you then get the bounding box around the text itself. Then I'm going to change the height and only the height, but with the maintain aspect ratio lock on to half an inch, so 0 0.5. That way I know the text will fit between the lines of this spiral. While I have the text selected, I'm also going to change the output function to draw, just to make sure that I don't forget to do that. If you want the text to be coloured in, make sure to apply a fill colour as well. I'm not going to do that this time round. Next, we'll select both objects. So click and drag a selection box around the text and the spiral. Then, still in the Edit tab, go down to where it says Text and Fit to Path and click on that. Now Canvas Workspace does take a bit of time to think about this and to work out how to do it. And of course, I've also got my screen recording software going here, so it's taken a little bit of extra time. But it's done it. There you can see we have the text and it will start in the center and work its way around clockwise. If you want to change the starting position, you can obviously zoom in and then using the select tool, Move over where you see this blue cross, click it and drag it. And then eventually when the software and the computer has caught up, although my crappy lappy I think is coming towards its end, then it will move that text around. There we go, so that's done. I'll zoom back out to the mat. And from here, realistically, it's just a case of exporting it to your machine, whichever way you uh, normally do. Now the shape, the spiral itself, won't be drawn or cut, whichever you're doing. And you can see that by the fact that there is no output operation next to it. The text we've set to draw, that's fine. So we don't need to hide or lock this or anything else. We can just transfer it as it is and then draw it out. And it really is that simple. You can obviously use various other text options whilst you have the text selected here. So if you want to change the font, you can do so. 
You can also change things like the alignment. So this option here is the alignment where the text will sit either at the um, with its bottom on the line, with the middle on the line, or with the top on the line. So if I just select middle just to change that, you will eventually see the result that this has. This can help if, you're, um, if you've got some spacing between the text that you want to condense down a little bit. So you can see it moved and there's actually less spacing between the characters so all the bits that are supposed to overlap actually do. So there we have it, spiral text that you can draw with your Scan and Cut machine. I hope you found this hack useful and will give it a try yourself and let me know how you get on.